And now, Laura Ingram, one by one. We have Gerald R. Schmidt from Jacksonville, Florida, yeah. writing. I believe Marco Rubio, the inexperienced new kid on the block, was manipulated by the corrupted old professional politician Chuck Schumer. Ah, so he was taken in by Schumer. No one likes to be told he was wrong. One loses face. Do you believe Marco can be won back by appealing to the virtue of his humility? Hmm. I think Marco Rubio is conservative on a lot of issues, probably most issues. Uh, I supported him. I, I like Marco Rubio, but he's just really got taken to the cleaners on this, and I think he made a big mistake, and now he's a young guy. It's hard to admit you've made a mistake. I think that's right. Can he be won back? Well, once he loses this amnesty deal, there's no winning in that back. That's one of the biggest issues facing our country, and it's going to change our country forever. So that's going to be a tough one. I don't, I don't see, I could be wrong, I don't see Rubio winning the nomination after this am amnesty deal. I just don't. So I, I'm not really worried about him. I'm worried about the country, but I don't, I don't see it. Another question. Although I think that whether men should pay for checks or not, going out on dates. Corey, have you ever paid for a man that you've gone out with? I haven't. I feel like if the man's asking me out on a date, he's going to pick up the check. See, Texas. Texas, the men, if I have tried to take my card out once, one time over the last five days and I was with my friends, the Hendys. Now, they don't just have me. They have my three kids, too. I went, I said, no, I am paying for this. It was something at the uh, Hyatt Lost Pines we went to. They were like, absolutely not. You're not paying for anything, but that's Texas. They're very generous people. But no, no, you can't let the gal pay. And one more question. Okay. okay.